Bladed weapons are easily one of the most powerful things to base a build around in Cyberpunk 2077, with a combination of bleed or poison perks, as well as a Sandeviston which almost grinds time to a halt whilst you dish out your deadly attacks, it's no wonder that such a vast range of these weapons exist. Whilst I've covered the larger knife and katana categories already, today we're exploring axes, machetes and the extremely gruesome chainsword. I'll be sharing where to find the best versions of each, testing them out in combat before figuring out ultimately which is best. If you've been enjoying my content for a while, then as always, don't forget to leave a like on the video and sub to the channel as it lets me know you want more stuff like this. Thanks, now let's get to it. Kicking this off quickly with important perks and cyberware I used when testing these, I went with a reflex, tech and cool heavy build, which brought up many but not all of the blade perks, anything from cold blood that improved melee, as well as the crafting perks to craft legendary gear. Then for cyberware, nothing here is too important, but optical camo and a low cooldown Sandeviston both pair very well with a build utilising most if not all of these weapons. Anyway, now that that's out the way, onto the blade tools. Down at the bottom then is the Kukri. Now by no means does this make it a bad weapon and this position is partly down to my personal preference. This is a large curved knife originating from Nepal and in real life has historically doubled as a melee weapon and utility tool. To acquire one of these cool looking blades in game then, we can head to the West Wing Estate melee vendor and buy a legendary crafting spec for 38,500 eddies. If you don't have Edge Runner Artisan to craft this, then the Jackson Plains weapon vendor will sell you a rare spec or Coach Fred will sell you the common spec. Equally, it can be dropped by enemies, but is defo on the rarer side of loot drops. This snazzy looking variant can also be acquired in game and is dropped by Voodoo Boys, allegedly. After about an hour of grinding the few spawn points they have, as well as checking previous saves, I kind of stopped looking. It is definitely out there though, and I'm pretty sure is identical in all but looks. I wish you the best of luck with finding it. So how does it handle in combat? Well, it's similar to a katana, albeit with higher damage and slower speed, which pretty much evens out to a similar performance. What I definitely do with this one then is apply the Kanai mods, as three of these on a legendary will allow for almost a whole extra swing every second. That's now almost three swings per second as opposed to just under two. Overall then, whilst having pretty much the same stats as the rest of the machetes, this has a lot less out there, more modern day aesthetic to it. With very similar stats to the Kukri, the regular machete achieves pretty much the same effects when used in combat, but sports three different looking variants to choose from. This regular futuristic look is what we'll get when we buy the crafting spec from again the West Wing Estate melee vendor. It's a cool looking blade, but I was hoping for something a bit more similar to the most iconic machete scene of all time. Sorry, I was perfect. I was watching the You're now going to get macheted to death. I was watching the taxi. I don't care. I did warn you. Did I, I or did I not warn you? James is killing Jeremy. Then things are going well. Well, luckily, after a short time away attacking the Valentinos in the suburbs of the Glen, they finally drop this neat looking variant to add to the collection. Our final of the three then, I found more easily up in Northside by attacking members of Maelstrom. This one is certainly the most savage looking of the three and sort of looks like a gigantic razor blade with the ominous quote, Maelstromers don't fear pain, but they know how effective it can be, end quote. Overall, if you want a blade which sits somewhere between a knife and a katana with decent reach, high damage and a more gritty hack and slash nature than the more artful katana style, then it's definitely worth giving machetes a go. The Tomahawk is a video game weapon that I've loved using since Assassin's Creed 3, the fifth instalment in the Assassin's Creed franchise, obviously. It's also a throwing weapon which can be used in place of a grenade in Call of Duty Black Ops. Well, I can't wait to relive that satisfying feeling of hitting someone with a Tomahawk from miles away. Ah. As you can see, tomahawks do not fall in with knives and cannot be thrown. That's a bit of a sad dampener on what is still nonetheless a very good weapon. Instead, this small axe becomes a quick swinging, extremely hack and slash weapon, which is easily one of the most gruesome in the game. At over four attacks per second and a 20% chance to bleed, various appendages are no doubt going to fly when you walk into combat with this weapon. Again, I would recommend the Kanai mod to improve this slashing speed even further, or else the cold shoulder mod to increase damage. Overall then, this serves as a much bloodier and weirdly not throwable alternative to knives. A good one to acquire if you miss the Butcher's Cleaver, which is a similar weapon covered in the knives video. Again, the legendary crafting spec is available at West Wing Estate, as well as a ready-made legendary tomahawk. 
Arguably a cut above the tomahawk though, Claw is a longer axe blade which deals significantly higher damage and with the addition of Kanai mods can swing just as fast. It makes the same cool metallic clanging sounds as the tomahawk and is just as dismembery though with a slightly lower bleed stat. This one was added in the 1.6 update though and as such there is no specific way to acquire legendaries but they can be lucky RNG drops out in the world. In fact when looking for a legendary blade in a locker during the dirty biz gig I was pleasantly surprised to find a legendary Canabo, a very nice club which I said only went up to epic in my blunt weapons ranked video. So comment below if you found a legendary claw and where since all of you collectively have a much better chance of finding one than me alone. The epic variant though can be acquired at, you guessed it, the West Wing Estate melee vendor. Though being a 1.6 weapon, there is no crafting spec right now. You also need 10 body to properly wield this, though a way around that is to simply equip the Griller Arms, which should remove the debuffs that we'd otherwise have. Best out of all the machetes then in my opinion is the slower to attack but much more damaging Razor Machete. Another addition to 1.6, I actually picked this one up from the animals weapon vendor in Rancho Coronado. But if you have the same glitch as I do where his area is hostile then simply approach him with optical camo on and he won't aggro. Again with this one there's an entry level of 10 body so you might need griller arms. Mind you this is a weapon that's probably going to fit a body build the best with less of a light swordy noise and more of a heavy slashing type noise. You can really hear the gruesome damage that this one's doing when you use it in combat, with a cool attention to detail I noticed being the completely different noise that's made when fighting robots. I guess the human attack sounds with this one are so fleshy that any difference is way easier to notice. It's this heavier sense to the weapon which makes V feel like a much more badass tank than the more sleek blades. It truly accentuates the hack and slash vibe the most and is the only one I think to fully distance itself from the often superior katanas. Oh and I noticed in here a striking resemblance between my gold razor and the weapon held by this FF06B5 statue. It's probably nothing but then who knows. It could be the key to unlocking this whole thing. God damn it, this mystery is so annoying. Like, come on, it's been over two years. I remember looking up tutorials for the COD Zombies Easter eggs literally a day after a new map came out. I'll do a deep dive somewhere, maybe. If I can get through the 60 foot block of ice that stands between this mystery and understanding anything about it beyond the magenta color code. Anywho, here's number one. Well budget arms, you finally did it. You created a product which is such a cool initial idea that despite the crap and well budget delivery of it, it still ranks top of this list. The Cutomatic Chainsaw is what you get when you combine a chainsaw and a sword, which you probably could have guessed from the name actually I didn't have to explain that. Anyway, this one is so ahead of its time even for 2077 because 40,000 years in the future these will still be the melee weapon of choice for some of the mightiest warriors in both the Imperium and the the entire galaxy. Whilst the Emperor in 2077 may be Saburo Arasaka, Chainswords will one day be the weapon wielded in the name of an infinitely more mighty Emperor. For now though, it's just a fun, out there, and extremely bloody weapon which destroys any notion of being stealthy and instead makes you one of the most obtusely violent renditions of V that you could ever possibly create. Again, it's a 1.6 edition which means finding a legendary variant isn't at all easy, so anybody who's been lucky enough to find one, please comment below where. Otherwise I had the most luck with epic variants at the animals weapon vendor. The initial equipping animation for this actually involves pulling a cord like a regular chainsaw to start it up and when it does it sounds well, to be honest, it sounds like it'll stall at any moment, but that doesn't matter because sound aside, it actually performs very well. And again, when you attack robots, you get the sound of metal on metal as opposed to metal on flesh, and it really sounds like it's struggling to cut through a bit more, though still does plenty of damage. Overall, it's not really due to higher combat performance that I rank this at number one, but rather because the Cutomatic sets itself apart from other melee weapons in a unique and exceptionally fun way. In fact, the only melee weapon I can think of that utilizes similar vibrational mechanics is, well, something that's designed to do just that, vibrate, and is yet another creative weapon which I cover in my blunt weapons video. But what do you think? Are machetes, axes, and chainsaws merely the inferior cousins of katanas and knives, or are they a lesser explored corner of the game with tons of untapped potential? Let me know. This video marks the last weapon ranking for a specific weapon group, and I'm proud to say that I've now covered every weapon and ownable vehicle in this game. Whilst I've still got plenty of ideas up my sleeve for future videos, if there's anything specific you'd like to see, then 
please leave it in the comments below. I do my best to read all of them and plenty of my videos already have been inspired by comments from you guys. Finally, if you're interested in supporting the channel further, then the link to my Patreon is down in the description. You can pledge from as little as a pound a month and will currently get early access to any videos I finish early, as well as accreditation in all my future videos. Please though, only pledge if you can afford it. Watching and enjoying the content is already more than enough. So thank you again for watching. I'm Sam Bram and I'll see you soon in another video.